So you might be in this weird situation where for some reason your touch input is delayed on your particular Android phone. Now, what does this mean? Well, basically, if you're trying to scroll through on your Android phone, if you're trying to just swipe through or whatever, you might be seeing that it might be delayed when you're actually swiping through, you're touching the display. Maybe you're touching like the app icon to open it, but it's like a very, very big delay. The first thing to keep in mind, if your particular Android phone is like severely outdated, like if it's like a very, very old Android phone, you might just be having those problems anyways. So if it's a newer phone, then that's different, but if it's an older phone, make sure like it's not a super outdated one that's just delayed because it's very slow. Now, if your display is giving you really weird issues now, you might want to make sure your particular display didn't switch over to a different setting. So what you can do is make your way over to your Android settings, find your like display options, which you might be able to find somewhere like this. If you're able to switch over to 120 Hertz, I would recommend just switching over to that because that can also help kind of alleviate this problem. If you're on 60 Hertz all the time, it might be a little bit of a slower you know, position than 120 Hertz. So try doing that. Now on top of that, another thing you may wanna try doing is seeing if you can restart your Android phone. So hold down the power button of your particular Android device. And what you're gonna to wanna to do here is restart it. So click on the restart button or power off and restart it or whatever you wanna do. And you wanna see if that ends up fixing the problem too, which again, for a lot of people, that might end up fixing the problem. On top of that, Another thing that you may want to try doing is seeing if there's an update available for your Android phone. So what you can do is make your way over to your settings application like this. Scroll down into system, which is right here. And then you want to click on system update, which is right here. And all we're going to want to do is just update our system. This in and of itself can end up fixing the problem too. And that's another thing you can do tend to fix in this situation as well. So that pretty much covers it up here for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.